Hi, I'm Jeff Payne. I'm a maintenance instructor with Caterpillar. And uh, one of the things I'd like to talk to you today about is uh, e-sticks and shimming your e-stick. Your e-stick is, uh, uh, well, Scott, why don't you show them what an e-stick does here? See how the e-stick comes out? And bring her back in. That's good. Go ahead and set her down on the ground. And turn it off there for me, Scott. All right, so that's your e-stick. Now, what a lot of operators will see as these start to become loose when they're uh, digging and trenching, they'll come up out of their trench, they'll come over and dump, they'll come back in and, and the thing will sit there and wa waggle or wobble, and uh, that's a loose stick. With the E-Series backhoe, we've made that much simpler than the D-Series to take care of the shimming process. Behind these plates on here, there's two plates on this side, two plates on the other side. Behind there is some shims you can see up here and what looks to be a hockey puck, only it's red, not black typically. We've made it so that we can do this stuff right from the outside of the vehicle. The old D-Series, we had to actually take the stick apart to shim these. On this type here, we can actually remove these plates and remove shims. Now that's gonna tighten up our side on here. There's a tolerance that you need to use and a set of feeler gauges to feel how much is in here. But you can find that stuff in your uh, operation maintenance manual or if it's not in there, on this, you can also look in the, uh, the maintenance book for this machine. So that takes care of our side to side, but we also have a top to bottom where it'll wiggle this way. With that, we have a shim down here. It's a, it's a wedge block and a couple of pinch bolts that we adjust here to take care of one side of that slack. And then we're gonna walk right over to the back here. And we have a cover plate back here. So you got this plate you're gonna remove here. You're gonna have a shim similar to the one on the back side there. You're going to remove these two plugs up in here to loosen those up and adjust your shim. If you make it too tight, it's going to make it jerky and sticky or may not even move at all, but you want to get that slack out of here so this thing is not wagging his tail when the operator is trying to dig his hole. It'll make him happier. It'll make the machine quicker and faster. For more information on this, look in your OMM, look in your maintenance manual, repair manual, and of course you can always contact your local cat dealer.